Lads, what is going on, Gonf here? And today I've got a full inform Ultimate Team squad builder for you. This is an absolute insane team. Full inform, all inform. Um, there's uh, one silver inform, and the rest are all gold informs. It's an absolute B squad. I'm just going to tell you, give you a little bit of an insight in how these players play and if they're any good. So, first in goal, lads, today we are going to be using this guy, Felipe. I'm not sure of his first name. Oh, Luis Felipe. There we go. He's a Liga do Brazil keeper. He plays for Flamengo. Oh, my God. This is one of the only, well, not one of the only players, one of the better players in this team who actually performed out of his socks for me. I mean, he's constantly springing across the goal. He's six foot three, so he's kind of tall as well. He's got one hell of a throw. That is one of his best traits, his throw. He seems to be able to throw the ball so far, which is one of the best things to start off a counter-attack. And he's just a great shot stopper. He's an all-round really good keeper. I don't understand how he's only rated 79 because he's, he was just so good and I really enjoyed using him. So, fair play to him. One of the best 15k I've ever spent on a goalkeeper, lads. I'll tell you that right now. First centre-back, though, we are going to be using... Gamo... Gamo... Wait there, his name is Jim... Jamora. I haven't got no idea. We'll call him Pedro, lads, because I can't pronounce that name. I think it's... Geromel. Geromel, maybe? Maybe. But he's got a freestyle weak foot, 69 pace, 70 dribbling, 79 heading, and 81 defending. Surprisingly, this guy was decent. In the, in the defense, this guy actually did his job in what I needed him to do. He defended, he was good in the air, and, I mean, the pace was a letdown, I'm not going to lie. I mean, he was sluggish, he wasn't... 69 pace normally is okay, but this guy, he was very, very sluggish. But when it comes to defending-wise and in the air off corners... He was there for me. He did the job. Only problem, of course, was the pace, unfortunately. But next one, we are going to be using an even slower guy. Yep. Yeah. I know. Unfortunately, this is the partnership I had to use to make this all inform Brazilian team, lads. And he gets slower. This one was not a good defender. He was very, very slow. He didn't do hardly anything for me. I think his price tag comes only because he's an informed silver. Maybe. I don't know. But. He was just horrific for me, lads. I, he did nothing. Um, he didn't get involved. I didn't see him win any challenges. He spent half his time on the floor. Only good thing about him was he's 6'4". So, I mean, I suppose he can win a few headers. But he just... In defence, lads. If, you, if you're if you going to use him for defence for defending, he is not your lad. He's not your guy at all. He was just terrible. Right back then, we are going to be using Ivanovic, who was... Possibly one of the big biggest surprises in this team. I thought a right back with 72 pace. I've always avoided him since he came in form. I thought he's going to be absolute d just disgraceful. I mean, 72 pace. He can't even go anywhere. What right back on the game has 72 pace? But surprisingly, he didn't feel 72 pace. He seemed faster. And he's up and down that wing. He's a brilliant defender. He's good in the air. He was just a really good right back. And I would really, really contemplate using him in the Premier League. If I was going to go for maybe an informed Premier League team or... I don't know, I needed someone for chemistry. I would be happy to use him because he was a decent right back. He did the job. And of course, with this right back, you've got amazing defending and amazing heading skills, which is one of the best things. Only problem is, obviously, he doesn't have maybe the 90 pace that maybe someone like Kyle Walker has, but he's a really, really good defender and he seemed faster than 72 pace. So, fair play to him. Left back then, we are going to be using once again. I've had this guy again now. Jordi Alba, spoke about him in my my previous squad review when I had him, um, do like him, he's a good player, he, he's better than I actually thought, but of course, he is a lot better at attacking than he is defending, but that's what you get with, that's unfortunately where you get with Jordi Alba, some people like that, I don't like that, but some people may like it, but the good thing about him is he can defend, he's got 80 defending, so he can defend, but he does, I'm going to tell you right up now, he does spend a lot of his time playing in the left mid, left wing position, where he's so attacking, but if you like that, he is your perfect man. He's also going to cost you 125k because he's pretty expensive. But that is what you get with Jordi Alba. Left mid then, we're going to be using Pedro. You will already know about this guy. One of my most hated players in the left wing position. In the left mid position, he was he was better. It was getting better. He got better. I mean, he performed a lot better in the left mid position than he did in the left wing. But he still wasn't as good as other players that I've used. Maybe in the Spanish league. Maybe a Spanish left mid. I've used better ones. But he's got a five-star week for the four-star skills, which a lot of people like. But uh, once again, lads, he's just there's just not a lot to him, unfortunately. He doesn't seem to have that flair that a lot of left mids and, and right mids and right wings and left wings have. He doesn't have that. He's very boring to use, and I just don't get on with him. But he was a lot better in left mid than he was left wing, I'll tell you that right now. Centre mid then, lads, we have got Ronaldinho. 
My favourite player in this team by a long shot. He is an absolute animal. One of my favourite players on this game. I will definitely be using this guy again, I promise you. He is just incredible. Worth every penny of 110k. Don't even bother looking at that pace because the runs this guy makes off the ball. At, I don't know how he got the vision and just the, the footballing sense to get himself in positions that he doesn't need pace. His ball control, his dribbling, his passing, his shot, everything is just perfect. His free kicks are ridiculous. I mean, he got one of the best free kicks on the game. Five-star skills, of course, and a four-star weak foot. Ronaldinho is ridiculous, lads, and I can only recommend him. He's got to be—he's probably one of the best players on the game. I rate him that highly. He is just incredible. Next one, then, we're going to be using Paulinho. Um, like this guy, he was decent. Would be, obviously, a lot better if he was four-star skills, maybe, because a lot of Brazilian Liga do Brazil players are four-star skills, and if they're not... You sort of frown at him and think, oh, I could go for someone else who was maybe four-star skills. But considering he's in form and his stats are pretty looking pretty tasty, 81 pace, 80 dribbling, 76 pass, 76 shots, 78 defending. So he's a perfect centre mid player. He can play, he can attack, but he can defend as well. And for me, he scored goals and he was a good player. So I, I did enjoy using him. Fair play. Right mid then, we're going to be using one of, possibly my second favourite player in this team. Always loved this guy. I've got too much love for him. He's just incredible in my opinion. Juan Mata, the inform. I will 100% be using this guy in my Premier League teams when I make a Premier League team again. He is just, he's, he's everything, lads. He, he can attack. He's got the flair. He's got the agility. He's got the balance. He's got the perfect shot when he cuts inside on his left foot. His right side cuts on his left foot. And he is just, he's just amazing. On the ball, he feels perfect. Only thing I can knock about him, obviously, is the fact that he does play better in the right wing position than he does right mid. But in right mid, he worked for me, so... What a player, man. What a player. Set it forward then, lads. We are going to be using Baldy. Mr. Baldy, Thomas Cleverly. Hated this guy all through FIFA 12. He was just absolute dog shit. But on this game, I suppose, playing centre forward, he's out of position. He's more of a centre attacking, centre mid player. He, somehow he cropped up with the goals for me. And <laughs> some of the goals he was scoring were pretty decent. And I was shocked. His footwork is very, very good. I'm not going to lie. He's got a great pass. Obviously, the only thing that lacks, he does lack being... A centre forward with that 78 pace. But he's a good player. And I would have preferred to use, obviously, in form Rooney. But I was lacking funds at the time. So I went for Cleverly. But Cleverly was very good considering I've never used him before. He was very good. And um, I do recommend him. If, if I mean, it's 18k for an in form. And he's, a very, he's, he's decent, man. He'll do the job. And up front then, to make to finish off this team, we are going to be using in form Danny Welbeck. I pretty much based this whole team around in form Danny Welbeck. I really, really wanted to use him. He's a great player, I've heard. I've heard a lot of good stuff about him. So I was looking around and I managed to come across this full inform team while and I could use inform Danny Welbeck. So made it. And it, the one thing you get with inform teams, and I'm going to be straight up, is you do feel, you constantly feel handicapped. I don't know what it is about FIFA. It's just you feel handicapped. I don't know why. It was the same on FIFA 12. Everything just feels a lot harder. Like you have to put a lot more effort into it. I don't know why that this is. But overall, the team, individually, some of the players were just incredible for me. But as a team... Maybe the formation wasn't right, or I don't know, but I didn't really rate it that highly as a team. But the individual performances I was getting from like Welbeck, Matt, uh, Ronaldinho, uh, I Ivanovic, Felipe were great. So I can only recommend some of the players. You can go out and try for yourself, lads. But once again, I'll leave you with some goals. And I hope you've enjoyed. I'll speak to you next time. Peace.